<laughs> Hello, Xin Chào. <laughs> Xin Chào. Let's go first. I'm now today. I stay with a very great, very great grace from Providence, from Brown University. He is my cultural ambassador. <laughs> Could you please tell your story, Kapo? What are you doing right now? Uh, what am I doing right now? Yeah. So um, I'm Calvin. I'm a third year here at Brown. I study computer science. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm from San Jose, California, and my parents are Vietnamese. I, that's I guess what I'm doing briefly. Yeah. Uh-huh. Sure. Why you Why you come to be the cultural ambassador with Brown? Ah, uh, cultural ambassador. Why Why Silly Brown? Why Silly Brown? Yeah. So I, at at Brown, I do a lot of work with the Southeast Asian community. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm currently the co-president of VSA. So what is VSA? Oh, the Vietnamese Students Association at Brown. Mm. So as a co-president of The Vietnamese Students Association at Brown. I just hold fun events, food events, things like that. I also do a lot of work with um, the Southeast Asian Studies Initiative at Brown. Mm-hmm. So we're working on projects like uh, bringing Southeast Asian Studies to Brown, uh, bringing an introductory to Vietnamese language class to Brown, mm. and different things like that. So I, I'm really interested in Southeast Asia because that's where my roots are from. That's where my parents are from. So I mm. naturally I. Was interested in a program like this. Mm. You already now come from Southeast Asia. Yeah. You 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 come from Southeast Asia, yeah. and uh, I have to say that the Vietnamese community in Brown University is really strong, right? Yeah. yeah. How many people that you have in community Vietnamese community? Uh, Vietnamese community at Brown, I'd say uh, in the VS in the Vietnamese Students Club, we get anywhere between like 40 to 50 members. Ooh. Sometimes like 60. Mm-hmm. But I think at Brown there's. Maybe a little, a little more than that, like hundred Vietnamese, mm. something like that. something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, Vietnamese American, international Vietnamese. That's counting like everyone. How long you stay here in Brown, in Providence? Uh, I've been here for three years. I'll be here two more, and then I'm out. Mm. Yeah. Two years. That means you um already to allow the Providence. Uh, already to to around. Oh yeah, right? yeah, definitely yeah. Have you ever been to Newport? Newport. I've never got never Newport. <laughs> Newport. So we have to go. Right? Yeah, we we'll go. We we'll go. We we'll go. Um, and how you how you come to be a ambassador, cultural ambassador? Rora contact you. Um. Yeah. Actually, I heard about it from Harrison. <laughs> how are you? Yeah. So Harrison does a lot of work with the Swear Center. Mm-hmm. And they are running YC through the Swear Center. Oh, Harrison is the the president of the VSA, right? Yeah, the other co-president. So there's uh-huh. two of us. So he sent out an email to VSA. Mm-hmm. He's like, "Is anyone interested in this opportunity? There's going to be a lot of really talented, cool students from Southeast Asia coming, and I was interested, so I mm-hmm. applied." Do you think it's a? Uh, what 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 are you feeling with Wesley Brown? Uh, what do I feel about it? Yes, twenty one people from 20. Southeast Asia. Yeah, it's it's honestly really amazing. Like I, I think I don't know. All, all of you guys are very like. Really special in your own way, like I don't know. All of you guys are like working on like really cool projects or like have interesting ideas, and I've just never met like so many people that are so interested in like helping their country or like um, I guess like like you guys have to do the business plans, right? Like mm-hmm. bringing positive change. That's really cool. Like, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. And yeah, also all of you guys are really fun to hang out with. So <laughs> that's, that's, that's why I have fun. I have fun. Like yeah. Okay, you come here before us. Could you tell us the the important pairs in Brown that if any audience who would like to continue their Nikki in Brown or Wisely who um enroll with Wisely Brown who come here, where they have to go? Uh, where they have to go in in order to uh, to travel? Oh, to travel at Brown. Oh, important pairs. Important. Oh, okay. Um, around the province area. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Nelson, Nelson, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love the Nelson. You uh-huh. go work out, <laughs> swim, swim, you know. Nelson is a sports center. Yeah, Nelson. Um, yeah, Nelson's a really nice sports center. <laughs> um, and um, he bring he bring us to the Brown Design Workshop. Mm, yeah, right? Brown Design Workshop. Yeah, yeah, the Brown Design Workshop, Brown Engineering Center. We we went last time. Yes, it was cool. It was cool. Um, Brown, Brown. Yeah, we have main gate. Main gate, yeah. Main oh. gate, main green. What is that? What is that name? Main gate. Van Winkle Gates. Uh huh. Yeah. Very specific name, but I forgot. No. Ben something. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It's all That's good. a main gate of the brow. Yeah. And main green. Main green, huh? Is um all the green grapes, right? 
Yeah, it's like where all the students hang out. It's just the center of campus life. Yeah. Library? Library. Yeah, we have a, a few cool libraries. The John Hay Library. Uh huh. This science library, the big tower. How many libraries do we have? We have like six. Six? Yeah. The science library is actually like the tallest point in Providence. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, New West building too, right? Uh, sorry? New West building yeah. in, in, in Broward too. Yeah, very new buildings in Broward. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And do why 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 you study here in Broward? Why do I study here? Yes. Um, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Brown is yes. this? I would say it's one of the top institutions in the U.S. for mm-hmm. um, undergraduate learning. Brown is uh, one of the only ins- educational institutions in the U.S. that really encourages like exploration, academic exploration. So there are no required classes. You don't have to because of our open curriculum. You don't have to take anything you don't want to mm-hmm. take. Um, Brown really. Doesn't calculate your GPA, so it's like very. They want you to take risks, and they want they like. They're trying to really encourage and build strong thinkers. Oh, that's how I like Brown. Um, the point that you keep, I I can hear from you that, the important thing is self learning, mm. right? Yeah. We have to we have to learn. You have to spend a lot of time to to learn by our uh-huh, yeah. I, I see that you do a lot of workshop, right? Uh-huh. And. Do you do you have to do a thesis or something? Uh, do what? Thesis, thesis report. Uh, thesis report. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Do do you do in 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 the subject? Oh yeah yeah I I, I do yeah I, I I did learn a lot of different subjects other than computer science. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I also because of Brown's upper curriculum, I get to learn like Mandarin and art classes. Oh. So yeah, even though I'm a computer science major, I get mm-hmm. to learn a lot of different other subjects. Not only your concentration, you can choose every subject that you interest. Yeah. Anything, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. And I heard about the the number that only eight percent can enter this university. Ah uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it means that it's really hard, right, to 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 en- enroll this university. Um. Yes, I think Brown is somewhere along among the most selective colleges in the U.S. Mm-hmm. So it has the one of the lowest acceptance rates. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I I think it does a good job of uh, just uh, bringing a lot of students from different walks of life, so like um, different socioeconomic status, different races, different ideas, mm-hmm. all together. Like it's not a very it's not a homogenous place. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. What is the famous f- concentration of faculty here in Bra? Famous concentrations. Uh, Like in computer science, Andy mm. Van Dam. You you faculty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I because I have in computer science, so I know about it. But Andy Van Dam is really famous. Mm-hmm. They say like he helped make like Toy Story or something, something like that. Really, Toy Story? Something like that, because he's like a graphics computer graphics guy. Oh, really? Uh, there's some rumors that because the the Andy in Toy Story mm. was named after Professor Andy. Oh, really? That's what they say. I just know I am the fans of why um Toy Story. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I look at one, two, three. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They say if you like pause Toy Story in one of the frames, in the library there's a um, one of the books is his book. Yeah. Oh. In Toy Story, like there's there's a bookshelf, and if you pause right there, Andy Van- Professor Andy's book is on the shelf. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I have to go there. Yeah. After this, um, bring me there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, there there is a computer science. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Also, I'd say uh, we're we're a liberal arts college, so we're really well known for, I would say, different humanities as well, like English, public policy. We have a big presence in like Washington, Washington D.C. as well. Mm. Um, Brown students are, I think, very inclined for a lot of different fields. That that's, that that's the whole, like, mission. So mm-hmm. we, I think we're, we're we're kind of pretty good across the board. And I'm not sure that. Only this campus, right? In Brown, this campus. How many campuses of Brown University? Oh, um, how many campuses? There's only one main campus. Okay. And this is like a medical school, I guess. Oh. Yeah. And I saw that someone who study in biology, hmm. and they study bio before to become the medical school, right? Uh huh. To 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 continue their study in medical school. Yeah. Hmm. I I saw a lot of. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, a lot of a lot of kids who study biology here are interested in 
a medical profession. Yes. So yeah, Brown has a lot of support for uh, medical, like medically inclined students. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You you can talk about the facility in Brown. Oh, facilities? Yes, chat to pad or computer or anything. Yeah, yeah, the facilities in Brown are pretty top notch. Uh huh. Um, it's yeah, we have a lot of new buildings because like Brown has a very large endowment mm-hmm. <laughs> and expensive too, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh. I think because we're such an old institution, like mm. we're we're the seventh, right. seventh oldest institution in the United I States. Guess. Like we're made, I really, yeah, made in seventeen seventy six. Mm. That's when it was created. So, um, we have a large endowment, like four billion dollars. Um, so we have the capability of like renovating our building. So like, our uh, like the, the engineering building was just built like last year. Oh, yes. That's brand new. Really wonderful. Yeah. You can search. Uh, engineer building of Brown University. Mm-hmm. Yeah, engineering building Brown University. It's very nice. Um, we're building a new entrepreneurship center. Mm. On, uh, if you walk out there, you see like they're building it. Yeah, they're always building new stuff. Just mm. um, other cool facilities. I uh, have you been to Granoff? It's really cool. Not yet. If not, I'll take you there. It's really nice. Yeah, we should, we'll check it out. Yeah, if, you, if you're down. What 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 that pays purpose? Uh, Granoff Center is like a media arts place so a lot oh, of really? yeah yeah it's a lot of art is held there um a lot of like, theater showings are held there it's severely like aesthetic mm-hmm. like, space like they rotate exhibits in and out of you know. mm. yeah yeah it's really cool and also the first city that i saw is um you can take shuttle around the campus oh yes yeah, that's true. That's true. So we have a on-campus shuttle. Um, you first use it all the time. <laughs> yeah, yes. all the time, right? for free. Yeah, yeah. You just show the a brow ID, right? Yeah, yeah. So the shuttle service, like during the day, you can go anywhere. Mm. You just show your brown ID. You hop on, and it just they take you anywhere in brown, pretty mm. much. And like at night, it's uh, it runs too, just to keep the campus safe. Mm. So just in case you don't wanna, I don't know, it's too cold or like it's. You don't feel safe walking at night. You just take the shuttle. Mm. Shuttle bus. We have two, two, two type: a uh, daytime and nighttime route. Yeah. Uh, uh. That that I already said that. Uh, Brown University staying in the city, and it's really large. Take a large area, uh-huh. right? If if we want to go somewhere, we have to plan and know the pace before we go, mm-hmm. and then just take a shuttle bus. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Yeah. And students from Brown can borrow the laptop from IT building. Mm, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes, yeah. both Mac, MacBook, and also the Dell, right? Yeah, the, yeah. The, the window. Uh huh. They let you borrow laptops. Yeah. It's really good. It's very good, good laptop. Service. Yes. Yeah, it's very good service. Yeah. So, I think the whole idea is like even if you don't can't afford a laptop, they want to help you provide. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um. Any suggestion that. If um the audience want to join the YC Li program, any suggestion that you and can encourage them to be a part of us? Yeah, YCLI. yeah. Um, to be honest, I don't know much about the what it took to be a fellow. I'm sure it's very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like it's probably much harder than becoming cultural ambassador. But yes. um, to become a cultural ambassador, I'd say if you're interested at all, uh, get in touch with the Square Center at Brown, or. Uh, yeah, get in touch with uh, Laura, Laura Garbs. She's really been great, great. Um, yeah, they, they, I believe they run the YCD program every year, right? Yes. And the first time at Brown. So. Uh, we have two times per year. Two times per year, okay. But yeah, they usually have details about the application. You just have to, um, usually they're looking for people with like interest in Southeast Asia or who have like some experience working in the region or like knowledge about the region. Mm. So... Yeah, I would definitely, if you're interested at all in that kind of space, mm. definitely apply. It's wonderful, wonderful mm. program. That's very, nice. very important that if you interested, just find the information, mm-hmm. prepare yourself, prepare mm-hmm. your portfolio, prepare the information. Yeah. You can ask everyone that walk past the YCD, yeah. or, or you can ask the, if the thing that related to Brow, you can ask Ke- um, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ask me anything. Yeah, I... Yeah, first I can give you my uh, email, phone number. Yeah, it's Kevin student from computer science. Mm. Thank you very much, Kap. Uh, Could you please t- say hello in Vietnamese language? Ah, uh, yeah. Xin chào, xin chào. Xin chào, yeah. Xin chào. Bye bye.